What is up YouTube, IDM here, and welcome back to another video. So this feels like an endless battle with Apple, and that's to get rid of the stupid shortcuts banners and the stupid shortcuts notifications. Well, actually the notifications are easy to get rid of, it's the banners which are a pain in the butt, but I have found a new method and it works on iOS 15. I have not tested this on iOS 15.1, which is currently in beta, so this works on the latest public version of iOS 15. And as you guys can see at the top of the screen here, I do have some custom icons. And when I launch them, I do not get any notifications and I do not get any banners. Well, the banners are about 98% of the time. So 98% of the time you won't get the banner, but it still can kind of leak through. It's just kind of a wonky method, but this is really the only way that I have found to get rid of them and to make them feel seamless on your iPhone. So as you can see, I haven't gotten any banners yet. It's about 98% of the time. There's no notifications and it looks good and it's seamless. Again, iOS 15.0. This is different than iOS 14. This is an endless battle thing. But to set this up, it's really quite straightforward. So we're gonna go into shortcuts and this is how I have it set up currently um, on my iPhone. So it's basically, it's three different automations and these automations make it so the banner does not display and the notifications is turned off within settings. So if you guys are doing this for the first time, there we go, we just got the banner. Like I said, it's not 100% of the time, it's about 98% of the time you won't see that banner. So occasionally you will see it, but it does go away very quickly, um, a lot quicker than normal. So we're gonna go into shortcuts and to start this up, um, just ignore these other automations I have and I'm gonna show you each automation and how you set them up. So to begin, we're going to click the plus button in the upper right. We're going to create personal automation. We're going to choose app and when the app is opened. And we're going to choose all of the applications we're going to make custom icons for. Now I'm not, not going to go through here and select all of my applications. I'm just going to do one password for example, but just remember that any of the applications that you're going to create custom icons for, you want to select at this point. So you can select more than one. I'm just doing one password, for example, for this. So we'll click done now that we have selected all the applications, we'll click next, and we're gonna add an action, and the action is simply number. Just search number, and there you go, under scripting, click number, just leave it as 42, that's fine, click next, and then turn off ask before running, don't ask, and then click done. So that's the first automation you're gonna need. Now the second one you're gonna need is going to be this. So again, we're gonna go add automation. We're gonna to go to app when it is opened, choose all of the apps that we're creating custom icons for. I'm doing one password, click done, and then we're gonna click next. And the action is going to be assistive touch. So just search assistive, and it's gonna be set assistive touch, and we're gonna change this to off. So as you can see, when I click on that, it changes it to on or off, turn it to off. Now remember, if you guys use assistive touch, this will actually turn it off. I don't use assistive touch, so this works out great. So we'll set it off, click next, don't ask before running, click done, and that is the second automation. And now the third one is the same as the first, it's just another number, so we're gonna uh, set a new automation here for app. When it is opened, choose all of the app icons or the applications you're making custom icons for, click done, do next, add action, and we're gonna choose again the number under scripting, leave it as 42, that's fine, click next, turn off, ask before running, don't ask, and done. And those are the three automations which you need in order to get rid of these banners. Um, you need those, those three automations with all of the apps selected that you're going to be creating these custom icons for. And as you can see, for the most part, it works 95% of the time, which is awesome, and it makes it look seamless. Now, you guys are still going to receive notifications uh, for shortcuts. So go into settings, go to screen time, go to see all activity, scroll all the way to the bottom to the notification section, and you need to go into shortcuts and turn off the notifications just by toggling that button. Um, if it doesn't let you select shortcuts, just switch back to another day 
and then you can get in there to shut that off. Uh, this one is weird. When you reboot your iPhone, this churns back on automatically. So if your iPhone dies or you reboot it, you will have to churn that back off every time you reboot. It's just the way iOS is. It's a little wonky, but that will get rid of the notifications. So now you have no notifications and you, for the most part, have no banners 98% of the time. And I think it looks seamless and that's really the best way you can get rid of them and to make iOS 15 look custom. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot here at the channel. And if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been IDM and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.